A high-stakes battle is going on for the future of AI, where $97.4 billion is the prize. That's the showdown happening between Elon Musk and Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. But what's really driving Musk's offer? Is he truly looking to take over OpenAI, or is there a bigger strategy at play? Let's dig into what's really behind this bold move and why it's capturing the tech world's attention. In early February 2025, Elon Musk sent shockwaves through the tech world by submitting an unsolicited $97.4 billion bid for OpenAI. Yes, you read that right, $97.4 billion. That's a lot of zeros, even by Musk's standards. But the intrigue doesn't stop at the price tag. This wasn't just a buying a company move. It's about control over one of the most powerful technologies on the planet. Musk's offer comes with the clear message that he wants more than just the company. He wants OpenAI's groundbreaking assets, like ChatGPT, and the chance to steer its future. For Musk, this bid isn't just about stacking up more companies under his name. Rather, it's having his hand on the wheel of AI's future. With OpenAI developing transformative tech like AGI or artificial general intelligence, Musk knows this is his chance to jump ahead in the AI race. The idea is simple. He wants to influence the way AI evolves, ensuring it's developed in a way that aligns with his broader vision. After all, when you're Elon Musk, you're not interested in just buying a tech company. You want to own the future. But this bold bid is more than just a typical acquisition. It's personal. So what's driving this move? Is Musk just after more tech toys? Or is there something deeper going on? Well, let's take a quick look at the past because the real story here is about a long-standing rivalry. Flashback to 2015, Musk and Sam Altman co-founded OpenAI with a lofty mission, creating AI that would benefit humanity. Sounds like a noble plan. But by 2018, things started getting messy. Musk stepped down from the board after a power struggle with Altman. It's safe to say that their relationship didn't exactly end on a high note. It didn't work, and Musk was out. That move didn't just dissolve a business partnership. It set the stage for years of tension. Musk, who has always been a bit of an AI watchdog, was concerned about OpenAI's rapid shift toward becoming more commercial and less for the greater good. Meanwhile, Altman had big dreams of scaling OpenAI fast, and he wasn't exactly thrilled with Musk's hands-on approach. Cue the classic tech founder showdown. Two visionaries, one company, and a very public fallout. Since then, Musk hasn't exactly been shy about his feelings. He's thrown a few jabs here and there, questioning OpenAI's motives and even calling out its new direction. And now, here we are, with Musk tossing the giant almost 100 billion bid onto the table. Not exactly a buying bid, more of a bid for control, a bid to rewrite the script of OpenAI's future in a way that suits Musk's broader plans. But what's next for this battle? Musk's move is poised to make waves, and Altman isn't likely to back down without a fight. Things are about to get even more interesting. Musk's sudden interest in OpenAI, particularly with the billion dollars bid, is staking a claim in the future of AI. Musk has voiced his disapproval over Sam Altman's push to turn OpenAI into a for-profit entity. But the truth is, this isn't simply a philosophical dispute. It's a personal rivalry between two tech giants with differing visions of AI's future. The timing of Musk's move is hardly coincidental. Altman's shift to profit-seeking is a direct challenge to Musk's own AI venture, XAI. Musk's company has been struggling to keep up with OpenAI's advancements, and the idea of competing with ChatGPT is a tough pill to swallow. Musk's motivations are simple. Slow down the competition and claim his stake in the future of AI. And let's face it, Musk doesn't play second fiddle to anyone, especially not Altman. But Musk's bid also isn't without drama. Altman, in typical fashion, flatly rejected the offer on X, formerly Twitter, you know, another platform Musk successfully bought. Altman's response? No thank you, but we will buy Twitter for $9.74 billion if you want. Ouch. Altman, ever the calm one in this chaotic dance, didn't let the barbs slide unnoticed. 
When asked if Musk's offer stemmed from insecurity about his own AI venture, Altman didn't hesitate. Probably his whole life is from a position of insecurity. I feel for the guy. Altman even went as far as to say, I don't think he's like a happy person. I feel for him. Well, that's one way to take the high road. Do you think Musk's approach then is from a position of insecurity about XAI? Probably his whole life is from a position of insecurity. I feel for the guy. You feel for him? I do, actually. I don't think he's like a happy person. I do feel for him. This entire fiasco takes another twist when we factor in President Trump's $500 billion Stargate AI infrastructure project, where OpenAI was chosen as a key partner. Despite the drama, Altman has firmly rejected Musk's offer. But the ripple effect is undeniable. The offer, even though turned down, could force OpenAI's board to reconsider the company's value. That means a lot when you're transitioning from non-profit to for-profit. So, while Altman has dismissed the offer, the chessboard is far from settled. With all the tension, Musk's next move is anybody's guess. As the battle rages on, Musk isn't relying only on business tactics. He's also playing the legal card. Musk has filed a lawsuit against OpenAI, claiming that the company's transition to for-profit status goes against its original nonprofit mission. Musk's argument is that OpenAI promised to work for the benefit of humanity, not to line anyone's pockets. If he can't get what he wants through negotiation, he's ready to escalate things in court. But the lawsuit is not just for the fun of it. If OpenAI's board refuses to sell the company to him, Musk has made it clear that he will pull out of his bid unless the company abandons its for-profit plans. Talk about putting the pressure on. Musk is no stranger to raising stakes when things get tough, and this legal play is just another way for him to gain leverage in this intense showdown. The legal fight has significant implications. Not only is Musk questioning the integrity of OpenAI's leadership, but he's also challenging the very direction the company is taking. It's a high-stakes battle that will shape the future of AI development. And with Musk's legal tactics in full swing, this rivalry is only getting messier. Musk may have thrown nearly $100 billion on the table, but OpenAI's board isn't exactly scrambling to hand over the keys. Sam Altman didn't just reject the offer. He flat-out mocked it on X Musk, never one to let an insult slide, fired back by calling Altman a swindler. Just your typical billionaire banter, right? But behind the public jabs, OpenAI's nonprofit board is facing a real dilemma. Board chair Brett Taylor insists Musk's bid is nothing more than a sideshow. But let's be real. When someone waves that much money in your face, you at least pretend to think about it. The board's job is to keep OpenAI's mission intact, but that mission has already evolved into a very for-profit reality. The tension here is no longer between Musk and Altman anymore, and not to mention the investors. Some of them might be looking at Musk's bid, then at their own bank accounts, and wondering if sticking to the mission is really the best financial strategy. If Musk and his allies sweeten the deal, the pressure could mount. And if that happens, well, let's just say the board might suddenly become very interested in reassessing OpenAI's long-term vision. For now, Altman and his board are holding the line. But if Musk has proven anything, it's that he doesn't take no for an answer. Before Musk's bid sent shockwaves through the AI world, OpenAI was already fighting a different battle against DeepSeek, the Chinese AI startup. On January 28, 2025, OpenAI accused DeepSeek of illegally replicating its models using a technique called distillation. Microsoft security researchers even caught individuals allegedly linked to DeepSeek scraping vast amounts of data through OpenAI's API. Now, OpenAI is working with the U.S. government to protect its intellectual property, turning what should have been a focus on AI innovation into a legal chess match. Then came Musk, tossing the billion-dollar offer into the mix like a plot twist nobody saw coming. Its impact is impossible to ignore. The board may have rejected him, but if history is any guide, Musk isn't going to take a back sit, asked the former CEO of Twitter. His next move could involve raising the bid, leveraging legal pressure, or making OpenAI's shift to a for-profit model impossible. He's already suing them over that very issue, and if the courts side with him, 
OpenAI's structure and its investors could be in for a rude awakening. With lawsuits piling up, rivals circling, and billion-dollar power plays unfolding, this is quickly becoming one of the most pivotal battles in AI history. So all in all, the race for AI dominance is only getting more intense day by day, and OpenAI is right at the center of it. With rivals closing in and power struggles intensifying, the stakes have never been higher. Is Musk's bid just the beginning of a bigger battle? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe, because this AI war is far from over.